Can't that Stacy be any more of a little bitch? Tom's not. I mean, now all of those douchey cheerleaders actually cross over to the other side of the hallway when they see me coming. <laughs> that is so rude. It's like I'm in social quarantine or something. Oh. I, I have a fatal strain of, of nerd flu and you can catch it if you come near me. <sighs> Please. What's wrong with being a nerd? I'm a nerd. You used to love being a nerd. Well, yeah, but that was when I thought I was, like, hot nerd. Hot, hot nerd? What's hot nerd? You know, I thought I was, like, the movie nerd who, who takes off her glasses and puts down her books and bam! She's a sex nerd, right? I've never been kissed. I'm not even hot nerd. I'm, I'm varsity quiz bowl nerd. And you don't even wear glasses. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, kiddo. <laughs> Look, you know what? It's the smart people of the world who always end up being the badasses. You know this. Believe me. It gets better. It gets fatter. <laughs> but it gets better. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm late. And you're gonna be late. Crap, yeah. Look, tomorrow we're gonna go down to the mall, we'll get you a pair of glasses, just for nerd transformation purposes, <laughs> all right? But okay. right now I want you to get out of that seat, march into that school, and kick some varsity quiz ball ass. Okay. Thanks, Corey. Bring it in, kiddo. Say hi to Nelson for me. Will do. Hey, you got any Purell? What? Why? I've been exposed to nerd flu. F you, knob jockey. Ha <laughs> ha. girl. So how was your checkup? Well, Doctor Who asked how my wife was again, so I told him you were fine. Good. Well, he is a million years old and Chinese, so let's give him a little slack about being old-fashioned, all right? And you lucked out because he's an amazing doctor. I mean, you just chose him because his name was Doctor Who because you're a sci-fi nerd. And I take off my glasses and I'm a sex nerd. I'm going to let that one go. Yep. Anyway, what do you say about your health? Well, it is now the opinion of the medical community that I am obese. Their scale is clearly broken. Was that an eye roll at my fat roll? Wanna see me tootsie roll? Can there come on. This is your health. This is serious. I know. Doctor Who said that I could have a heart attack by the time I'm 40 if I don't radically change my lifestyle. Uh-huh. And then he tied me to a chair and forced me to watch Wheel of Fortune. That's great. And then I broke free and took a huge jump on the floor, smeared it all over the walls because Wheel of Fortune is an unusual form of torture. What is so much more important than me? No, 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 don't be obvious, don't be obvious. What are you looking at? The cop. Oh, well, excuse me, I dropped my fork. Wow, that is a hot cop. I know. I mean, I'm guilty. <laughs> I did it. Now do it again. <laughs> yeah, no, I like his beard and the way his hat sits on the back of his head so he looks like Rob Cranton. Are you talking about Jenny Craig before or Jenny Craig after? Okay, that is rude and inappropriate. Officer O'Funions couldn't chase down a rolling donut, although he would try. It is a donut and they're delicious. Are you really attracted to that guy? You think he's hot? Yeah, I do. But come on, I, I I like guys with a little meat on their bones, babe. I'm I'm into chubby guys. Shut it, shut your mouth, you're a jerk. You're a jerk who's never allowed to talk to me about who he thinks is attractive ever again. One large smoke shake and one seltzer. Actually, I had the seltzer, but I could understand why you would make that mistake. The chocolate shake is for the chubby chaser, not the chub. Thank you so much. Please don't mind him. Have you decided? Yeah, um, I would like a bowl of bacon, and the bowl should also be made of bacon. And then I'm gonna need some cream, some deep fried sour cream chunks, and a big jar of mayonnaise to dip it all into. Gotta keep my figure for my hubby. I think we're gonna need a minute. Thank you. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you? I told you, Doctor Who said I could die before I'm 40, and then in the next breath, you're drooling over Sheriff Shamu over there. You're just as much of a fetish hound as those 
those chicken hawks and rice queens you make fun of all the time. It's not a fetish, Corey, all right? I'm naturally attracted to that type of person. I, I like what I like, just like you like what you like. God, Corey, I picked you because I loved you and I think you're beautiful. And fat. Beautiful and fat. And witty and fat. And handsome and fat. Most importantly, fat. You would be attracted to a beach ball with a beard in a jock strap. If it could dance and have a good credit score, absolutely. Have you decided? Uh, yes. I would love the cheeseburger with fries, please. I'll have a large house salad <clears throat> with large fries and cheese and gravy. OK, next the fries. What's her problem? Corey, you're the only guy for me. Mm -hmm. I love you whether you're gordo or flacco. I love you because you're you. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Which part? Completely zoned out. Miranda, text me. Corey, you're the only guy for me. I love you whether you're skinny or fat. I love you because you're you. Give me my enlarged heart, skip a beat. And I want you to be healthy, all right? I want you around for a long, long time. That's sweet. But you know, if you were as fat as me, I would leave you in a hot second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> yes, I would. Come on, you know I'd never leave you. Mm. Don't get fat. I was feeling blue. He's dogging.